Hello and welcome fellow framers. My name is Roman and I'm going to show you how to make some custom bullets in Adobe Frame Maker. It's quite easy but it can be kind of confusing so here I am to show you a quick way of doing it. Uh, first thing I'm going to take a look at here is this document. I have these three different items that could be potentially uh, bullets. So coming over here in my authoring workspace I could go to my paragraph catalog and click on one of these bullet formats that's already pre-made for me okay and that looks pretty good there's another one in here too yeah they look okay not that interesting I want to make my own custom bullet and so in order to do that best way is to go ahead and change into the design workspace okay that way we can have access to the character designer and the paragraph designer because we're going to need them both so to get started here I can just put my cursor just somewhere in here because I'm going to need that here in just a second uh, next thing I'll need to go ahead and open up uh, the utilities menu here under file utilities and let's choose the character palette okay the character palette is going to show all the different characters that exist in a particular typeface okay in this case uh, I'm just going to choose wingdings okay there's my wingdings and with wingdings I have all these cool little symbols that I can use okay keep in mind that wingdings is a font that comes with my PC uh, if I wanted something different I could go to a website like font squirrel or thefont.com or one of those websites and get uh, a font that has a lot of different types of these glyphs okay for this example I'm just going to use wingdings now the idea is I need to be able to type one of these special glyphs here into the page the thing is I don't know how to do that because apparently like this little arrow that's not an arrow that little star there with a circle uh, that's a micro sign okay I don't know how to type that on my keyboard but if I just push it here you'll see I'm adding them over here okay I'm gonna use this arrow here that looks kinda of sexy I click on that a couple times and apparently that's a Latin small letter E with grave or grave okay and I don't know how to type that but all I have to do is push this button here in the character palette and it makes it happen okay now there's no X button or anything on this character palette it's kinda of weird uh, when you're done with it just click over to the side here in frame maker and you're back in your page and it goes away if you need to access that character palette again just go to file utilities character palette now I'm gonna use this letter E as an example okay I'm gonna highlight this and I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this to my keyboard uh, with keyboard shortcuts or something in this case I'm just gonna go to edit you know copy okay or control C it's in my clipboard so next thing let's get busy on these bullets here I'm gonna go ahead and just maybe I can highlight each of these or or whatever I just need to make sure that one of these or all of these are selected I'm gonna to go to my character tag here under my character designer I'm gonna make a new format here I'm gonna call this uh, custom uh, bullet uh, you can name this whatever you'd like this is just an example and in here I'm gonna to need to choose the wingdings font okay so I can access that custom bullet using the small letter E with grave okay I can change color I can change the angle or the weight or any of these other things when I'm done I can just go in here to commands and choose new format uh, that's gonna go ahead and create a new character format in my character designer okay and I can store it in the catalog I don't need to apply it to the selection because that's not the point of what we're doing here and you'll see in just a second what exactly I'm trying to do but it's necessary as a first step okay to create this custom bullet using your special glyphs uh, font that we chose okay so we hit create and that's done nothing's happened yet but that's now stored in our character uh, formats okay I'm gonna go over to my paragraph designer and I'm gonna make a new paragraph tag I'm gonna call this mr. super I don't like spaces uh, I don't think FrameMaker does either. Okay, so Mr. Super Bullet, that's a good name just for this example. My point is you can name it whatever you'd like. Of course, I have these buttons over there, these little sections of the paragraph designer, and I need to navigate, mosey on over to this fourth button, okay, which is the numbering section. And currently it's using this bullet, which is one of the building blocks. And so I need to replace this bullet with that that grave that letter E with grave I'm just gonna hit paste or edit paste here okay that didn't seem to work undo control Z I'm just gonna 
type it up here. I seem to have a hard time using this menu sometimes because it tries to overwrite stuff here in the page. So anyways, I just hit Control V to bring that into the page. And there it is. There's my letter E with Gravi. The next thing I would do, if in fact, if I were to just hit up, up, Apply and Update All, you'd see that I'd get the little letter E in here. Okay, and that's no good. And in fact, by me hitting Edit Paste, I kind of messed with the paragraph tag name. I want to change that back, Mr. Super Bullet. And I'm kind of being a little goofy with this, but this is probably going to happen to you the first couple times you do this. You're going to be goofy like me, uh, in which you're going to click on the wrong area, uh, and you're going to lose your paragraph tag name. You're going to start over again. You might overwrite an old format that you already had. That happens, okay? Just be patient with this. After you've done this at least a few 50 times, you'll get it, okay? I'm going to hit Apply. That creates a new style. Um, format I should say and that's it okay but I don't really want it to look like a small letter E with Grave so I need to come over here to the character format section of the numbering okay and in here I got a whole bunch of stuff and oh, there it is there's custom bullet so I choose custom bullet that's the character format that I made okay it shows up in here all character formats show up in here I can hit apply and there it is done okay so again, follow the steps along if you need to create these again. It took me a long time to remember how to do this. I do it now pretty regularly. I think making custom bullets can look pretty nice. Uh, and it makes it much better than a typical bullet that you would normally find a frame maker. Anyways, that's all I have for you on this tutorial. Hope you enjoyed, and uh, I'll be working to make you some more. Thank you.